Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to the adventurous Vaughn Manor, where today we are once again diving into the books that time forgot. Yes, uncovering lost treasures as I go through the books that I had to pack away in a hurry before construction was done on the manor here. And now I'm unpacking it, looking into each box to find what's in there. And so, yeah, I'm gonna go through another couple boxes today. Uh, what do I have in these boxes? Who knows? I threw all this stuff just in a big jumbled hurry into a bunch of boxes. Let's see what I've got in here. So two boxes today, just like we did last time. If I keep doing two boxes, well, eventually, you know, this will end someday. Let's see what's in here. Okay, the first book in this particular box is this one. And this is, a well, a nice shiny one. This is H.P. Lovecraft's favorite weird tales. And there's a bunch of good stuff in here. Lovecraft's favorites. We got Edgar Allan Poe. We got Ambrose Bierce, Arthur Mackin, Robert W. Chambers. Uh, we got Algernon Blackwood in here. I think The Willows is in here, right? The Willows. Yeah, The Willows is in here. And you know what? Uh, what else is in here? The House of Sounds is in here. Ooh, and A. Merritt's original short story version of The Moon Pool. That was pretty good. So there's some good stuff in the H.P. Lovecraft's favorite weird tales. That's a good way to start. Okay, what else is in there? Okay, another creepy book. This is a good one. I think I've, sh I've shown this one before. Uh, the Great God Pan and Other Horror Stories by Arthur Mackin. This is the Oxford World's Classics hardcover edition. You can get a paperback of this. I highly recommend it uh, because this is his best stuff all in one nice book. Uh, and Arthur Mackin, man, he's creepy. Great horror writer, Arthur Mackin. The Great God Pan and Other Horror Stories. How was that? What else is in here? Submarines, of course. Uh, this would be Submarines, the story of undersea boats by Herbert S. Zim. So yeah, a book about, you know, submarines. I got all kinds of stuff. Sure, it doesn't really seem to fit in with those other two books, but you know how it goes. This one kind of does though. This is a paperback copy of Eldritch Tales by H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, this has some pretty good stuff in it. Uh, has some of his earlier stuff, but the reason I have it is uh, basically because it has the fungi from Yugoth, which is his epic, epic poem. Um, and so that's just a cool thing to have. Everything else in here I've got in other places, but I don't have the fungi from Yugoth in any, any other edition. So this is a cool thing to have. Eldritch Tales. And oh, this is great. This is seven science fiction novels of H.G. Wells. This is the copy, the old battered copy that I stole from my stepfather who kindly let me steal it. Uh, I love this book. It's beat to hell. I've got a new fancier version up there on the shelf, but this is the one I really love because, you know, I got this when I was a kid from my stepfather. So it's awesome. It has all of these great stories in it, all those great uh, novels by H.G. Wells. Fantastic book. Here is an omnibus paperback uh, from, who does this? Nebraska Press? Yeah, University of Nebraska Press. They do this one. This is the Under the Moons of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs. This is basically the first three Martian novels uh, from Edgar Rice Burroughs, the Martian trilogy. And I know I have this in a bunch of different places, Under the Moons of Mars. I got a lot of Edgar Rice Burroughs lying around. What can I tell you? So there's that. What else do we have in here? We've got... Seven famous Greek plays, uh, Agamemnon, Prometheus Bound, Oedipus the King, Antigone, Medea, Alcestis, and 
the Frogs. So seven famous Greek plays. Uh, yeah, Modern Library hardcover edition. That's pretty cool. What else do I got? Uh, this is Richard Dawkins, The Greatest Show on Earth about evolution. So, you know, that's a pretty good book. Dawkins knows a thing or two about evolution. So there's that. This is a pretty cool book right here. This is Hubie Cave's Death Stalks the Night. Hubie Cave was a really cool pulp writer. He wrote a ton of pulp stories and horror stories. And he wrote for years and years and years. This guy never stopped writing. Uh, I don't remember what year he passed away. I think it was in the early 2000s, although I could be wrong. And he just wrote. I mean, you'll find old, old uh, leisure horror books by Hubie Cave. I mean, this guy wrote forever. And um, he, he wrote pulpy trash, but he had real talent, this guy. Um, yeah, I like Hubie Cave a lot. This particular edition is edited by the great Carl Edward Wagner, author of the Kane novels, which I will be reading in the very near future. And I got this beat up old book, which is actually Arthur C. Clarke's The Sentinel. Um, yeah, Arthur C. Clarke's The Sentinel, just a beat up old copy uh, of some short stories by Arthur C. Clarke. I've had that so long, I don't even know where I got it from. And this is pretty cool. It looks a little strange, but this is Selected Stories of Philip K. Dick. I, I think I got this in like one of those libraries, those little free libraries out in front of people's houses. Uh, so it's kind of like warped from weather and stuff, but uh, still pretty good shape. I haven't read it yet, actually. Uh, so I bet there's a bunch of stories in here I haven't read from Philip K. Dick. That's a pretty cool thing to have. What else do I have? I have The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Hardcover. Where did I get this? I must have got this. Oh, this is Fall River Press. So it's from Barnes & Noble. So it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Terrifying Tales. It has the same horror stories that you'll find in all of uh, Robert Louis Stevenson's horror story collections. Uh, the Body Snatcher, The Waif Woman, The Isle of Voices, The Bottle Imp, uh, a few others. And of course, the case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Pretty cool. Pretty cool hardcover book. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. It's Edgar Rice Burroughs, more Edgar Rice Burroughs. This is Tarzan the Untamed and Other Tales. So this is some Tarzan novels all in this big hardcover. What Tarzan novels? I don't remember. Tarzan the Untamed, Tarzan the Terrible, Tarzan and the Golden Lion, Tarzan and the Ant-Man. That was pretty good. Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, and Tarzan and the Lost Empire. So some latter-day Tarzan novels. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I've got that. I knew I had that. This is pretty cool. This is a really tore to hell, beat up copy of Guns of the Gods by Talbot Mundy. I mean, this is, this is really beat up. I forget where I got this from, um, but it's pretty cool. It has some old tiny illustrations to go with the story. Uh, I don't have much Talbot Mundy actually. So this is pretty cool. Published in 1921, and it looks it. It looks like it was published in 1921. That's for sure. Set you down there. Still more books. Okay. What do I have here? Oh. Among the Heroes. United Flight 93 and the Passengers and Crew Who Fought Back. By Jer Longman. So, there's that. And, oh, this is pretty cool. Sword of the Old Frontier by Randall Parrish. This book is ancient. Um, this was published when? 
1905. So this is published in 1905 and it's in better shape than my Talbot Mundy book. Uh, but again, a really, really, really old book. And with that, what else is in here? We've got By the Gun by Richard Matheson, six Western stories. That's pretty cool, By the Gun. Love Richard Matheson, he did some good Westerns. Uh, and this is just a junky, beat up copy of The Book of Scathe by Leigh Brackett. Um, Eric John Stark novels, the trilogy by Leigh Brackett. Um, I do have a different edition of this though, a different copy with the dust jacket, so I don't really need that at all. So I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Oh, this is a cool thing. This is more, more Barnes Noble Fall River Press, I believe. This is uh, Penny Dreadfuls, Sensational Tales of Terror. Um, these are old timey horror stories. <laughs> Not all of them were in Penny Dreadfuls, if any of them, except for maybe, um, uh, what was in here? Diary of a Madman. Yeah, Sweeney Todd's in here, at least a bit of it is. Uh, has the whole, uh, the Frankenstein, the original version of Frankenstein. And it also has a few other things, notably The Mummy's Curse, by Louisa May Alcott. You know, she wrote Little Women and The Mummy's Curse. <laughs> Go figure. A lot of good stuff in this anthology. It's actually a pretty fun book. Here is a book I talked about before on my Sunday Penguin. I did a Sunday Penguin on this. American Supernatural Tales, edited by S.T. Joshi. Bunch of cool stuff in this. This is one of the Penguin horror hardcovers uh, that they came out with a while back. <laughs> The black ink and end papers. Um, just really, really cool set of books. And this is an excellent anthology. Check out my Sunday Penguin for that. This was actually an excellent book. I really like this one. This is The Killer Thing by Kate Wilhelm. Kate Wilhelm, who wrote some other things later in life. Here's Kate Wilhelm here. She wrote some mysteries, I believe, that kind of thing, to go along with the science fiction. Um, kind of a cheesy color cover for the killer thing about a soldier astronaut who has to fight a giant killer robot. And it is actually really, really good. This is a good book. Check that out if you ever find it. Okay. Oh, it looks like we've got some Conan here. The Hour of the Dragon. This is from the set of Conan books uh, that Carl Edward Wagner edited. Because at the time, the only Conan that was available was, was uh, the Conan uh, that L. Sprague de Camp was stuffing all his stories, mixing his stuff in with the Robert E. Howard stories and the, and the paperbacks at the time. And Carl Edward Wagner was a Robert E. Howard purist, as am I. He thought Robert E. Howard should stand alone. And only his stories were the real Conan stories. And so he did an authorized edition of Conan this was the first one that came out, The Hour of the Dragon, which contains this fantastic novel. He followed that up with The People of the Black Circle. This has a few Conan stories in this one, as well as that really cool cover right there of Conan fighting the wizards. And last in that set of Conan books was this one, Red Nails. Look at that awesome cover. Conan chopping off that guy's head. Red Nails, a couple stories in this one too. That was the end of his authorized edition of Conan. The last thing in this book, uh, this box, pretty big box, is this Barnes Noble hardcover of Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I do have a Penguin paperback, but I do like this hardcover. They actually made some decent hardcovers, Barnes Noble. So that was one box. Let me get the next one. All right, Roger. You ready for box number two? I think Roger's ready. All right, it's in another old comic book box, so let's take off the cover. <laughs> okay, I've got a couple DVDs in here to go along with my books, apparently. Look, it's The Fugitive with David Jansen, the most suspicious looking fugitive of all. This was a great television show, guys, The Fugitive. This is season one, volume two. I hope I have season one, volume one lying around somewhere. So The Fugitive, this guy, Every episode, he was on the run from the law for a crime he did not commit. 
And he always acted so suspicious. I mean, like, it's amazing this guy wasn't tossed in jail in, like, every town. But yeah, The Fugitive. That was awesome. Oh, look at this! It's the first season of Kung Fu! And the second season of Kung Fu! Why am I not watching that, like, right now? Okay. Looks like everything else in here is books. Okay, what do we got? This is a pretty good one. The Further Adventures of Superman, an anthology with a bunch of uh, different writers in there. Mark Wade has a story in there. Edited by Martin H. Greenberg, who edited 9,000 anthologies. So this is just a bunch of prose stories about the Man of Steel. That's pretty awesome. What else we got? Ah, this is pretty cool. It's more Louis L'Amour. He's just in every box, I think. Um, the Writer of Lost Creek. Here we go. I don't know that I've read that. I'm gonna read that. Of course I'm keeping that. I'm probably gonna keep everything. Who am I fooling? Michael Crichton, Eaters of the Dead, old paperback copy. Author of Jurassic Park. That was a good book. Oh, this is interesting. This is an old penguin. Um, this is the portable Conrad, but it's the older version. There's a newer version of this. Um, but this is the original portable Conrad. Um, actually, I think this was, this was back when it was just Viking. This is before the portable con portables went to uh, Penguin. So this is just the Viking portable Conrad. Uh, Typhoon, Heart of Darkness, Secret Share, a bunch of good stuff in there. Oh. And it looks like I've got a leisure western, uh, the showdown at Juniper Pass by Kent Cornwell. And this is at the end of Leisure's days, because you can tell because it has a terrible photoshopped cover. Last couple years that Leisure was in existence, uh, their westerns tended to look like that. Just random photoshopped photographs of cowboys on horses. And just, they were terrible. So bad. It was the beginning of the end. What else do I have? Ooh, it's Ancient Myths by Norma Lore Goodrich. Ancient myths. A nice, eclect more eclectic stuff. Oh, this brings back memories. Oh, yes. One of my very favorite books. This is Victor Hugo, Les Miserables, Les Miserables. Love this book. Uh, this is um, the Signet classic. So this is the complete uncut version of it uh, with a wonderful uh, translation. Um, by Lee Fabnestock and Norman McAfee. McAfee. Um, it's, it's great. This is a great book. Fantastic novel. Victor Hugo. I, this took me forever to read, but it was so worth it. I loved every minute. Love that book. Love it, love it. Okay, what else do I have in here? An old copy of Tender is the Night. This is the version that I first read. Uh, which I got on clearance at half price books for a dollar. I have a new version, new hardcover version up there. Still have this one though, and you know what? I'm gonna hold on to it. Cause it is the book where I first read that story and I really like that book a lot. I like Fitzgerald a lot, but you know that. These are a couple cool things. We've got uh, a Princess of Mars. This is uh, on the 100th anniversary, I think it was, 19, uh, 2012, they did uh, a couple hardcovers of Edgar Rice Burroughs. This is Library of America, a couple special publications. It'd be nice if they put him in the official Library of America. I mean, he was influential enough, but they just can't bring themselves to do it. But they did come up with these nice uh, kind of reproductions of the first edition of A Princess of Mars. Uh, has an interesting introduction by Juno Diaz. Diaz. Don't, don't agree with everything in that introduction. But overall, a nice volume of A Princess in Ma of Mars. Kind of think Library of America should have just, you know, skipped introductions for these. Tarzan of the Apes, another Library of America. Another nice one. And this is uh, a little Penguin English Library copy of The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, The Time Machine. 
You might have seen this if you had watched my very, very early video on the time machine. One of the first videos I did was on the time machine. I don't think anyone's watched it. I think it, it might have 100 views by now, maybe. Maybe. It wasn't that good. I should, I should redo that uh, now that I sort of know what I'm doing. So The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. This is an excellent book. Why People Believe Weird Things by Michael Shermer. This is a great, great book. It's about just what it says it is. Why do people believe weird things? Even smart people believe weird things. Why do smart people believe things that are so stupid? This book will tell you. Michael Shermer, he spent a lifetime trying to figure out why people believe what they do. He's the editor of Skeptic Magazine. Good book. I mean, there's just, this is excellent. Highly, high, high recommendation here for that one. Oh, of course, it's the Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov. The three original Foundation, Foundation and Empire, and Second Foundation. Um, there is the lecherous guy himself, Isaac Asimov, back in the day when he was a young man. Foundation Trilogy. Excellent. Ah, look at this. I'm going to keep this out. Uh... The Chronicles of Conan. This is the big old hardcover edition uh, of the Chronicles of Conan. Uh, big one volume edition. Has the cool map there. Um, yeah, this is a pretty cool hardcover edition of the Chronicles of Conan. And it is a mammoth, right? It's mammoth size. Yeah, it's over 800 pages. So this is good for next year because I hear a rumor that booktube darling Shelley Swearingen wants to do a read-along of the Conan stories. And here we go. I'm all up for that. So I'm gonna keep this handy. Hey, I've been looking for this. Yay, this is fabulous. This is the Black Lizard Big Book of Black Mask Stories. This is incredible. This celebrates the fantastic Black Mask magazine. Uh, this uh, was one of the big books by Otto Penzler. You should get this book. You should get this book. You should get this book. It's incredible. Incredible Black Mask stories in here, including the original version, the original magazine version of the Maltese Falcon. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I found this. Love it. So that was that. That was my books from the, the books that time forgot. Episode three, there will be quite a few more episodes. So I will catch you here tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, comic book day. Let's find all about find out all about Justice League Detroit tomorrow. That should be interesting. Catch you then, guys.